welcome back students i have come up with one more important question related to the concept of scales as i was all the time highlighting the question from the scales is a compulsory gunshot question that may be a diagonal scale or plane scale before that we look into the question that construct a diagonal scale it is given very direct for all of you that it is what type of scale it is a direct that is a diagonal scale showing yards feet and inches as it is a diagonal scale it can read up to three units and the three consecutive units which in which a two inch long line please do understand two inch long line represents 1.25 yards and the scale is long enough to measure the long enough to measure up to five yards find rf RF is the question mark which is not given and a mark a distance of 4 yard 2 feet and 6 inches on the scale. This is all about the question dear students before we are going to work out the scale we came to know that the scale is said to be a diagonal scale. I hope you know that a scale which can measure up to 3 units similar units or the next consecutive 3 units it is said to be a diagonal scale. Looking at this scale it is given in terms of yards, feet, inches. You need to know the conversion from yard to feet or feet to inches. If not you cannot work out this. Such type of questions will be asked in the examination. Now before going to work out this problem as I told the step by step sequence to be worked out is the first and the foremost thing you need to work out is the RF dear students. As the RF is not given we are supposed to focus on the question how to work out the RF. RF is defined as the length of the drawing divided by the actual drawing is not it. Now what is the length of the drawing here and what is the actual one. Now let us look at that in which a 2 inch long line a 2 inch long line by looking at the term long here the other form of word long is nothing but the length I hope you do understand that. So this is nothing but the length on the drawing represents 1.25 yards it is representing a 1.25 as this is representing a 1.25 this is representing so it is said to be the actual Hence, from this we could able to understand that the representation factor or the scaling factor is given as 2 inch, is not it dear students, 2 inch divided by, uh, this is all about 1.25 yards, 1.25 yards. As the RF or the scale factor need to be evaluated into the same similar units, we should know and we should have a knowledge of convergence. As I was told in the earlier video about the convergence, please go through it and watch accordingly. And I am going to tell you once again, 1 yard equals to how many feet dear students? 1 yard equals to 3 feet. And 1 feet is how much dear students? 1 feet is nothing but 12 inches. 1 feet is nothing but 12 inches. But whereas here we are supposed to work out related to 1 yard. So, 1 yard I can write in terms of the inches as my the numerator is inches I will try to convert these yards also into inches. So, they are of similar units the ratio should be of same units. So, 1 unit 1 yard can be written as how you can write here is this is all about 3 into 12 inches is not it I mean 36 inches dear students. So, here I can write in place of yard 3 multiplied by 12 inches will give me inches by inches the ratio from that we can work out the uh, this I mean the representative factor is said to be of similar units. So, 1.25 I am writing as it is now the yard is written as what dear students yard is nothing but 3 inch 3 into 12 inches is not it 1 yard equals to 3 feet this is all about 3 and feet 1 feet equals to 12 inches. So, putting in the calculator upon calculation both are of inches. So, it is found out to be 2 upon 45 dear students and that is the RF of the scale. Hence, it is said to be a reduced scale. Now, later once the RF is worked out I told you to work out what is the maximum distance given for the scale. So, the maximum distance or long enough to measure will be given for sure in the problem. If not, you need to look at the what is the maximum marking distance. Keeping in view if it is look here, it is 4 yard. The maximum distance will be near to the top 5 all the time looking at the marking distance. For example, if it is 6 yard, 
the marking maximum distance will be 7. For example, this statement is missing in the problem, you need to focus on the marking distance. So, as it is 4 yard 2 feet 6 inches, the maximum distance where it can measure can be 5 you are supposed to think. For example, if it is 9 yard 3 feet and 10 inches, as it is 9 yard, the maximum number or the near value to the 9 yard is nothing but 10 yard. But whereas in this problem it is mentioned very clear, the maximum or the long enough to measure distance is all about 5 yards dear students. I cannot plot 5 yards on my drawing sheet. So, I need to draw my drawings with a plane scale, I need to work out the centimeter or the millimeter unit. So, for that I need to calculate now length of the scale which I am going to plot in my drawing sheet. Hope you are catching my point. I am going to work out similar few more problems in the coming videos. If you have not subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel as well as share this content with your friends. So, this is all about RF into the maximum distance. So, RF is how much dear students? It is worked out and found out to be 2 by 45 into the maximum distance is given here that is 5 yards. Now, I cannot work out with the yards a length of the line. So, what I do here is I convert it into centimeters. So, in order to convert it into centimeter, we know that 2 upon 45 is written same 5 as it is and 1 yard equals to how many teacher? 1 yard is nothing but 3 feet, is not it? 1 yard equal to 3 feet. Now, 1 feet is again written in terms of inches that is all about 12 inches. Is not it dear students? Yards I converted into what? The feet 1 yard equals to 3 feet. Now, the feet is being converted into inches. Now, further I write this in terms of centimeters to make my calculation better and understand in form of drawing with a plane scale I go with a centimeter scale a line or a millimeter. Now, this can be further written as 2 upon 45 by 5 into 3 into 12 into 2.54 centimeters. Now, I converted this inches to centimeter 12 is written as it is. So, 1 inch equals to 2.54 centimeter. Upon calculation I have done already in the calculator you do cross check and work out once again. It is found out to be 20.3 centimeter dear students. This is the length of the scale where I converted from yards to centimeter. You should be very perfect in the conversions and learning these things and a video is posted on units and conversions and the introduction about the scales please do work out on it. Now, we can plot with 20.3 centimeter along this scale. Now, the next thing is all about the units. So, what are the different units here given as it is a diagonal scale that may be the similar 3 units or the consecutive units. So, it is given here the 3 units yards later feet, later inches, is not it dear students? I mean 1 yard equals to 1 yard equals to 3 feet and 3 1 feet equals to 12 inches. This is what we learn 1 yard equals to 3 feet and 1 feet equals to 12 inches. Now, as we came to know even this later the last and the final thing we need to mark is the marking distance. So, what is the marking distance given for this problem in the scale is this is all about 4 yards and 2 feet, 2 feet and 6 inches, 6 inches. This is how you are supposed to calculate the problem dear students for a problem when it is in of yards, inches or in feet. Now, I hope you are very clear with this concept how we are supposed to convert from one point to the another point I have given a very clear explanation for you. Now, let us look at the dimensioning of the I mean the construction of this scale the diagonal scale. The diagonal scale is a scale which can read up to the maximum of 3 units and the consecutive units and whereas it is given as 20.3 centimeter. Now, the 20.3 centimeter is located somewhere here dear students is not it. Now, as I am doing a rough sketch for you all assuming that this is said to be a 20.3 centimeter on my scale, but whereas you need to work out as per the scaling only dear students. Now, as it is a diagonal scale we need to represent 3 units. So, my breadth to be taken as 40 to 50 millimeter 
and draw a rectangle. I'm working out the rectangle here likewise. Now, this is said to be A, B, C and D. Make sure and concentrate such type of problems will be asked sure. If you are going to look and observe whatever the, the way how I am drawing, it is very easy for you to plot in the examination. Now, as I told that this is said to be what the length of the scale that is found out to be 20.3 centimeter. Now, this 20.3 centimeter line is plotted in order to represent this 5 yards. So, how can we work out this 5 yards on this 20.3 centimeter is to divide this a b into 5 equal divisions is not it the maximum distance next we need to go to the maximum. So, dividing this 20.3 into 5 equal divisions go with the division of a line concept and divide it into 5 equal divisions 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Dear students my drawings are not in the scale you are supposed to work out all the problems with the instruments. Now, this is said to be 0, this is 1 feet, 1 yard, 2 yard, 3 yard and 4 yard including this box this is said to be 5 yard. Now, I am going to write that from 0 to right of 4 is said to be yard scale. You are supposed to write in uppercase letter. Now, draw the perpendicular to make and give a lick of the scale and it is said to be diagonal scale getting the students. So, 0 to left to this is said to be yards. Now, 1 yard equals to how many feet dear student? 3 feet. Now, this is the box for represent the feet. So, here how many feet I need to represent is 1, 2 and this is nothing but 3. I need to divide this box into 3 equal divisions dear students. You can go with division of a line method and take the compass and fix the radius and plot 1, 2, 3 and join this to this, this and this and drop the perpendiculars, is not it? This is how you are supposed to work out this, why it is 1 yard equals to how many feet? In a yard there will be 3 feet. So, this box need to be divided into 3 feet only dear students not 10 as it is a centimeter, millimeter, decimeter there that may be 10. But here it is yards, later feet, later this third unit subunit is all about the inches. So, this is all about the inches dear students. The third unit of the scale as per the diagonal scale unit 1, unit 2 and unit 3 said to be diagonal scale. Now, again this box is all about the feet. So, 1 feet equals to how many inches dear students? 12 inches. So, I need to divide this AD line into 12 equal divisions getting my point. This is a feet box 1 feet equals to how many inches? 12 inches and 1 yard equals to how many feet? 3 feet. So, 1 yard equal to 3 feet and 1 feet equals to 12 inches. So, divide this line into 12 equal division by following a dividing a line concept drawing from here or drawing either from here a line and measure it. So, this is all about 1 feet, 1 inch, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 and this is the 12th. Getting? Now, what is the next point you need to do here is after dividing, I told you to drop all parallel lines from uh, to AB from this AD line. This is a procedure need to be followed. I have uploaded already few videos on diagonal scale. Please do work out accordingly. Please do work out those problems first and later you practice this so that the complexity of the problems are varying in my channel. First you practice the easy one then the later difficult one. Now the ninth third division second division need to be joined to the last division of the scale this still here placing your scale fixing that from 2 to the corner of the D you are supposed to mark a line that gives you the diagonal line which is nothing but we are going to trace the diagonal scale. Now, placing this 2 to the, the parallel to 1 and draw this. So, that that gives you somewhere here parallel to this and even for 0 line also you are supposed to place this line parallel to this and go to 0 and draw a line. This gives you the representation of the diagonal scale. Getting dear students as we have done few more problems please kindly watch that. 3 will be 10th division will be same like that in the earlier problem here the straight the 9th division we tilted and made to the 10th division of the territory scale. 
here let's look at the marking distance of the scale the marking distance is all about 4 yards 2 feet and 6 inches dear students now the 4 yards is to the main scale unit you can draw a perpendicular line from AB line in order to mark the reading I mean the marking distance and 2 feet and 6 inches 2 feet is along this scale along this line and 6 along the inches so 2 feet and 6 inches this is the line and where it is of 2 feet and 6 inches from there you are supposed to work out the perpendicular line now the distance between these two projectors is said to be a dimension line which is 4 yards isn't it dear students 4 yards 2 feet and 6 inches and do not forget to write RF of the scale exactly center of the scale and the dimensions and the uh, the scale is said to be drawn in HB pencil. This is how you are supposed to work out when a problem is given to construct a diagonal scale in yards, feet and inches. Do not forget to remember all these calculations in a point wise. The first is to work out the RF, next the maximum distance, later the length of the scale and the units and length the marking distance. This is how you are supposed to work dear students. If you are looking for any other videos, please do not forget to comment in the comment section as well as share with your friends. Hope you are liking my videos.